know what time you're on. 9.45. Okay. Cool. I'll go for you three then. Is that cool? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'm ready. Right, I'll just turn the level down. One sec. Right. Here I am with three members of Warpaint, a band that I've gone to quite recently. I'm very excited to be sitting next to them. Having seen the sound check already today, which was rich in texture. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who have we got here? Tell we us really what you're holding time. in your hand and what you play. Lemon. Um, <laughs> and you are? Emily. I play guitar and sing. Thank you. <laughs> Cup of tea, still on the scale, drums. Decaf mocha. <laughs> um, Jenny and I play bass. Okay, and we're missing one member who's currently looking for her mobile phone. So Teresa has no, no iPhone in her hand. And she's guitar and vocals. Yeah. Yes. So we've got a lot of vocals in this band. I'm going to talk about you, Stella, as well. Mm. Quite new to the band, aren't you? I am. Well, relatively, yes. The band has been together for six years, on and off. Yeah. And I've been involved with these ladies for almost a year. Okay, fantastic. And I read somewhere that someone said that you are the missing piece to this beautiful band. Oh, that's missing really piece nice. of the puzzle. That's really that nice. was me. Oh. <laughs> okay. I love you both. And well, nice. there is a lot of love as well. You seem so chilled out when you're on stage. Oh, um, I've seen the <laughs> sound check and I've seen you laughing a lot, Stella. Oh, yeah. <laughs> these guys are very funny. I've seen in some of the interviews that you do, there's a lot of giggling. Mm -hmm. We want some giggling now, all right? <laughs> <laughs> We'll get into it. I've, also, I've also seen that uh, you like to touch other people's hair. You've been touching your own hair. And I wanted to sit next to you during the interview. I wanted you to touch my hair. She's <laughs> I it's really into my hair, hair now. Twirler. Yeah, what's it about? What does it do for you? It's really soothing. I don't know, I've been doing it since I was like six years like old. Sucking her thumb yeah, it is. My mom used to get mad at me. When and I do, and every time I did it, she would cut my hair. It was it was short, and my hair was really long a long time ago. Now. That's why yeah. it's short now. But yeah, it's a good look. my mom. Cut it in my sleep. Oh, okay. um, but she left these. Okay. For me. Okay, let's, let's get back to the music then. No. We can talk about the aesthetics happily. All beautiful women as well, I've got to say, in this band. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But um, Warpaint, you've been going since what, 2004, and you met on Valentine's Day? Or no, you didn't meet on Valentine's Day, you, you got going as a band. Yeah, yeah. Is that, that was right? our first practice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, how long have you been into music? Have you always enjoyed playing music, doing music, what got you into wanting to be in a band? Um, let's see here. I've, I've been playing music for about 10 years, and for the first couple of years that I started playing music, I actually didn't even have any... I was really mortified of the thought of anyone even seeing me play right. bass. I played bass by myself in my room probably for the first like year and a half, and nobody saw me play. And the first show I ever played was this... Uh, it was just an instrumental instrumental piece that I had with a few other people and the first show I was I sat behind <laughs> my bass amp. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so that um. no one would no one could see me, I was like ah, mortified of <laughs> anyone seeing me for some reason. So you got your little quirk about hair twirling mm -hmm. and also not wanting to be seen as much but now, stage fright. Now yeah, it was exciting. Yeah, 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 stage fright. And then after a while you start playing and you I it's, it's like an adrenaline rush. It's really fun playing, and I don't really feel... I feel more... I guess being nervous is, is just a form of excitement, but now I actually just feel excited. You know, when I'm nervous, I recognize that it's just really excited. It's positive. Mm -hmm. It's called yeah. new stress. Yeah. It's really near, apparently. But, yeah, what can I say? I mean, we've got a really good gig coming tonight. We've got the four of you. Teresa, I hope she finds a phone. Me too. But we've got... Ex not exquisite cards. We've got the new album, The Fool, out tomorrow, and people can buy oh, it wow. tonight. Ah! Yeah. What's that? We forgot. <laughs> we just didn't really know, know what the day was. We've been counting down and then when it just gets to <laughs> Today a day Today is the 24th. Right. We're in the Death Institute, 24th October 2010. Let's talk about the new album. Have you been getting some reviews already? Um, yeah. Yeah, we've been pleased with the reviews. Mm -hmm. yeah, seems like people nice. have been really, yeah, they've liked it and got, got it. Yeah. A sweet response, I mm -hmm. would say. Sweet response so far. How's it different to Exquisite Corpse, your EP released in 2008, which has gone down well all over the world? How's it different? <laughs> I think the it's full. Mm, you mean sonically or just the reviews? The sound, yeah. Because um, you, you had less time to work on this one, I'm guessing. Yeah, we had less time. I would say the one obvious thing that's different is on the EP we had four different drummers playing on the EP and on the 
full length. It's just Stella and Teresa plays on one song, so there's more consistency. Absolutely, yeah. With the rhythm section, I would say. And obviously, with the drums. even compared to Cocteau Twins, I compare a bit to Vivian Girls, but they're a bit more surf inspired. But how how does it sound? Does it sound any different to recent stuff that you've been doing? Um, does it sound different to Exquisite Corpse? I think it's just like an evolution, an evolution yeah. of 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 the EP, it's still, I don't think it's like vastly different, like, whoa, who's this band? It still sounds like You've got your war paint. Yeah, 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 and it's just the evolution yeah. of that. It's like the older sister, is what yeah. I like to say, older sister of the EP. Come on, That's nice, Matt, we've been well, waiting for you. We've got Theresa in the room. Have you got your phone? No. No. It's not on stage? It doesn't make any sense. Why? It's not here. Hopefully, we're going to give some positive it. vibes. You're going to find this phone. Yeah. Um, gonna the only thing about that that sucks is just that it's like, you do personal things on your phone, so it's like you don't really want some random person to find it and then like, you know. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> you get the real wall paint, paint right now. It's real. <laughs> Wait, hopefully one one time, one moment, very soon in the near future, you're gonna have that phone and everything's gonna be fine. But let's talk about wall paint. Ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with a name? And Penny did. what does it mean to you? It's just um it was just a seemed like a cool name that just happened to cross my mind and um, and everyone liked it and it's just it represented something cool like there's so many ways to interpret it and mm -hmm. it's such a simple name that just hadn't been used and yeah, it worked. felt like we could fit the name and fill the name yeah, yeah. and um, and you know there's all sorts of meanings we've created I mean for the obvious, obvious meanings are territorial you know war paint it almost relates to the slits because they were sort of primitive in energy and metaphor about what they're about. I mean, can we talk a bit about Ari Up? I mean, have you ever been inspired by the slits or Ari Up in any way? We actually, one of our first that? shows we played with. Um, this could be your is phone. Your phone? Who's is that? It's not mine. It's an iPhone, isn't it? That. It's in Where UT. is it? It's Have in look. here. <laughs> um, this is breaking news. Sorry. Oh. Breaking news. The phone might be found. No, we're back behind there. <laughs> One of our first uh, oh. shows, we broke up as a band for a little while, and mm -hmm. then one of our first shows that we played when we got back together <laughs> was at the El Rey with them, okay. the Slits. And, um, yeah, you played with the Slits, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. Um, Jen and I got a chance to hang out with her once, too. That was yeah, uh, we're t they, we played the show with them, and then we got along with them really well and kept yeah. in touch with a few of them, Holly being one of them. <clears throat> yeah, we're looking at the Slits poster up there, yeah. aren't we? Because yeah. uh, I met the Slits in here backstage as well got to be good friends with Ari Up and Ari Up has gone and left us on the planet. But would you say that you learn anything from her? Or talk like about other artists sure. that you've learned like as well. Her she had this this kind of combination of tension and freedom in her voice that I thought was really interesting and unique. Um, the ability for her to like be so playful and yet totally tough and um, like I don't know, just like so seriously amazing mm -hmm. but so like light and playful yeah, some of, execution. but yeah but, oh, yeah. It, but her lyrics are just like she just like didn't give a fuck yeah yeah she i like the way that she really brave behaves yeah absolutely brave and you know Ari up rest in peace and we're sat mm. in a room mm. with wall paint now and your phone okay. is here yeah, Teresa. Yeah, we so. can hear it <laughs> yeah. so i can see it in your eyes things will be okay the the most most i didn't put it in my bag no, no, it's, it's the most beautiful in music in the world right now that room <laughs> tone is like and that's sorry to make it about that well. especially when we're talking about aria who yeah. is actually like uh the coolest thing about her and her band is that they were just like um on to something else when like it's a really hard thing to do and the environment around you is not like producing that already obviously like she was a unique and they were a unique group she was a unique individual mm -hmm. and um it takes guts i mean i think we all feel that to like to be able to forge that new like a new path in yeah. a way like yeah. and stand by it and not go oh maybe i should like um kind of go where other people have gone or something. Okay, yeah, well I think that what you're doing is different because the sound, it's so rich, it's only four people making this sound, but it is gorgeous and it does take one away. It is sort of celestial, uh, you know, just mm -hmm. just takes me away. We were just smiling when the music came in, when you'd all got into your positions and finally the drums sounding right and the guitars and then the three vocals. Is it three or is it four? It's three for that yeah. one. 
Yeah, it just it sounded just right. I mean, how did you get the vocal style going? Could someone say? I don't well, know which which sang a better sound check. It was great. Oh, yeah. so oh. I mean, I love the vocals. I, I do compare your vocals a little bit to Vivian Girls. Possibly Shangri La's. Never heard mm. of Vivian Girls. I really love the okay. Shangri La's though. Yeah. Out in the streets. Yeah. They're like a little bit more, even more abstract than we are, I think. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I don't know how, how, what was your question? How do we, how we got our vocal styling? Yeah, you know that song? You just start, in general. I, generally, just start singing and you, you, there's three voices there. That's like, how do you get... Sound. I don't know, that's you like asking how you get your brown hair or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's like, you can't really, like, at least for us, it's not like we listened to, um, like, the way, like, Ian Curtis sang and decided to sing like him or yeah, something, yeah. you know what I mean? So. I, I think just time. We've been a band for, you know, on and off for six years and tried out different styles and... Yeah. Emily would sing, and then Teresa started singing more, and then they started doing harmonies, and it's like, oh, let's three people do this. Let's sing in unison so that the, the vocals pop out and stand mm -hmm. out. It's just it's just been over time where we're like, what sounds, how can we make this more? How can we make it more? What how can I'm we evolve? It sounds and, very together, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's a very succinct sound. I think it, because as a band in the beginning, we always were really simple. Um, not simple necessarily the music, but just starting where we could and starting simply, and so, like, we've always had time we've had so much space and time to just like always add new elements when it felt like time and then it was they were right on time you know? okay okay i think i know what you mean and we're talking about time we're being told to end this interview and let's think about space and time and brilliant elements we're going to experience we're going to experience something Woo! else tonight with warpay at the deaf institute and all the best with the new album. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you very much for the interview. And have thank a you. fantastic night and tour. Well, well, you should be our yeah. like thank permanent um, interview pep, pep talker yeah. for every show. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we're ready. We're ready to sing <laughs> like, that song. Yeah. yeah. Ready to open up a song. Really song. Better better about myself. And just get out there and have a fantastic night. Fuck anyway, yeah. thank you very much, Warpaint, for coming thank on. You. Anything goes right for the show. And if I could just say, could you say, we are Warpaint? And you're listening to the Anything Goes Breakfast Show. Number two. Okay. okay. Anything Goes Breakfast Show. Yeah, Give you a card. Okay. Anything okay. Goes Breakfast Show. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Cheers. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Hi, we're War Paint, and, and you're listening to the Anything Goes Breakfast Show! That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Thanks very much. Have a brilliant gig. All right. Thanks. You too.